Gotta run, gotta run, gotta run. All right, let's see. Yep, there we go. Oh, big fish, you guys, it's heavy. I ditched the corporate grind to pursue my passions for fishing and travel. Now I serve as a guest guide at Los Buzos Resort, where I help kayak anglers figure out one of the most epic fisheries on the planet. You're watching Field Trips with Robert that Field. That is a fish, bro! Hey, good morning guys. Welcome back to Field Trips Panama. Welcome back, not to Los Buzos Resort. We just ran about 18 miles down the coast to a spot called San Patricio. Pretty much the most epic spot out here on this coast. We got a little spattering of rain this morning. We got out at the crack of dawn, left the lodge about 4, 5.30 in the morning and got out here, it's about seven o'clock now. Dropping in a bunch of kayaks. We're gonna be doing some fishing. This is one of the most epic spots on the coast. We're gonna see what happens, but yeah, just barely missed this rainstorm. We got a double rainbow in the background. It's gonna be a good day. We'll see what happens. We'll see that meal primero. Come on, pesado. Está uh, buscando para carnada. Uh, fishing on a little jig. It might be a bonita or some kind of bait. Bait. Fishing in paradise, ladies and gentlemen. Look at this place. Absolutely epic. Mm -mm -mm. I've definitely fished in uglier places. right here is about to get bit y'all feeling that oh yeah what I just say what did I just say Fish on! <laughs> I called that one! I said this thing's about to get bit. And there it is. <laughs> I don't know what it is, but... Oh, blue pin trevally. Sick! That's dinner there. <laughs> oh, what's up? Oh, 
Man, I called that. That is so funny. I didn't really know, <laughs> but I had a good feeling. Oh, oh, not a monster, but solid fish. Uh huh. Chill, 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 chill. Yes, sir. That worked out pretty good. Yeehaw! Calling my shots now. Bluefin Trevally, not a monster, but beautiful and delicious fish. And that's on that bucktail jig. And actually, if you watch my last camping series out here in this same area, throwing this exact same bucktail, this is MV3 Vates, Mike Vinarchik. It caught me a bluefin trevally that day, which we were living off the land then and needed it for dinner. It was super clutch then, but I'll take these fish any day of the week. And I saw him explode on the surface. I was ripping this thing back, kind of jigging it. And uh, when you jig these bucktails with good big pops, oh, I gotta get out of here. They'll kind of dart back and forth, almost like a walk the dog type action, but just under the surface. And uh, he came up and just exploded on it. Saw the explosion. Ah, oh, sweet catch. I love these fish. One of our favorites to eat and always good for a good fight. He was hooked good, he wasn't going anywhere. You need to get out of here. There it is. There we go. Phew. <laughs> awesome, awesome, awesome. What is it called? Sangre. I'm going to win them. And I'll, and I'll book tilt. Wow, I'll probably do that some more. See if we can get some more of those guys up. That was fun. Getting a run, getting a run, getting a run. Just letting it go, letting it go, letting it eat. It's a pretty big bait. All right, let's engage. Let's see. Yep, yep, yep. Oh yeah. This is Robert. I'm on on big on the blueprint. Oh no. Uh, I think it's coming at me. Uh, no way. Did it spit it? Oh, I was on the radio? No. Oh man, I was getting pulled so fast. Oh, it's still on it. Something followed it all the way in. That looked like a rooster was right behind it. It followed it all the way back to the boat. Oh man. That's just Oh no! Scott here is just hooked up on the bucktail right here. They came over here since I'm finding some success. He had something good on, looked like, and pulled the hook. It happens, man. Just throw it back in there. All right, back to Harold with his Jack Craval on the jig. There you go. Money. Awesome, man. Yep, there we go. There's something on it, on the Coco Bolo jig. Oh look, there's a shark following this. This way, Richard, this way, Richard, this way, this way, this way. This way. And that is a little baby bluefin trevally. I downsized the, the bucktail jig and caught one even smaller. And this guy, we're gonna put out for a lot of bait. And there we go. The last one we kept for dinner, this guy's small. We're gonna turn him into something bigger. See if we can't work our way up the food chain here. All right, Harold's got his jack in the boat. We just left him. We got a Kubera over here with Ben. There you go, you're getting him, you're getting him. Oh, I let go of it. Reel it up, reel it up. See what it looks like? Drop it right back down if you got any bait. Yeah, drop that right back down. Pedal up a little bit in front of your drift and let it in. You'll get him, man, you'll get him. Got Harold here, he's been putting a herd on him. You know what it is? 
There you go. You got him. You got him. Beauty. That's a stud pompano. Yeah, get a gap in him when, when you got it. Nice, man. Big African pompano. Harold got a nice one earlier today, but that's a huge upgrade. Let's go, Harold. That is a stud African pompano. Oh my gosh. Harold, my man. <laughs> that's the biggest one in a long time. Wow, holy smokes. There it is. Harold with this stud African pompano. Jeez, on the live bait. Gotta run, gotta run, gotta run. Gotta run, gotta run. All right, let's see. Yep. Yep. Uh, might have me in the rocks already. Uh, this is Rob. I'm in here at the rocks too. I'm hooked up big. Oh yeah. We got fish. That'd be great if you're not far. Be in the rocks. Oh, there we go. Got it. Got the fish. Yep. There we go. Robert, hooked up here at San Patricio. Going on a nice sleigh ride. Phew. I think it might be a Kubera, man. It, I thought it was in the rocks. Now I think it's free. And it's coming up. It was heavy, heavy, heavy at first. Now I, I was just telling all them to come in shallow. Big fish, you guys. It's heavy. Yeah. It's fighting straight down, pretty much. Back down it goes. Would you get it on? Blue runner. Nice. You picked one up out deep, brought it in here. It's coming up now. Rooster. 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 Oh yeah. Nice one. Yeah. Okay. Nice one. Nice rooster. Monster. <laughs> Best guy, yo, baby. Caught my bait out there, brought it in shallow. I knew this is kind of the rooster zone. It did not take long at all once I got in here. Uh, there's a nice one there. Golly. Hee Sick fish. Oh, yeah. Good start to the morning. Look at that. Okay, got the hook free. Get this girl back in the water. Woo! Best guy, oh baby. Skip breakfast. I'll take that over breakfast all day. Good call on the stinger rig, man. I had the blue runner out and I reeled it in and had it between my legs and, and tied it real fast. Did you really? Hell yeah, yeah, man. Hell yeah. yeah. Thanks for saying that. I didn't yeah. even thought about it. No, absolutely. And it was on the second hook. Perfect. So. Then there's a good chance theirs are going to get hit then. Yeah. Yes, sir. It was a big blue runner. I thought it was going to be a bigger fish. I literally fish. just said, get, get bait, stinger rigs, come in short. That's what I told them. Hell yes. It's like clockwork, man. Look at that. Fez Gallo. Ah. Sick. She's biting me pretty good. I think she's gonna go. Oh, well, I didn't mean to. Uh, 
Let her go right there. there. I'll get it. All right, so she's she's worn out. She's plum tuckered as I am too. That was actually a pretty short fight for a rooster that size. Got her up pretty pretty quick, but uh, she is tired. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna hold her bottom jaw open, and I'm gonna pedal her around and get some good water flowing over her gills, and then she should go just fine. Whoo, that never gets old. <laughs> Not a monster, but a solid, solid fish. I've caught much bigger, but I'll take that anytime. They're so strong. It was fighting straight down, which they normally they pull you around a lot more. So I was thinking Kubera, but it can be tough to tell sometimes. You know, fish to fish, they act differently. I've had my biggest rooster ever, 54 inches. You also check out that video. That was a battle. And uh, that thing towed me like a mile and a half out to sea. This one just fought straight down the whole time. So you just kind of never know. But I knew it wasn't something small. She's feeling a little more lively, but I'm gonna go ahead and just keep reviving her until she's really, really fighting me, just to make sure she swims off strong. We really like to take care of these fish. She's starting to bite me more. I think she's coming around. Let's see if she'll go. Yep, took right off. Took off at speed. We'll kind of wait a minute, just make sure she doesn't float back up, but I saw her kicking real good, real strong. Should be good to go. Yes, sir. Okay. Now we're fishing, boys and girls. Hee-you! Well, I think now I'm gonna do some jigging. See if we can't pull up some fun fish on the jig. And I'll just be kind of keeping my eyes open for another bait. We'll put one down if we get one, but yeah, we'll play around with the jig now for a little bit. See what else we can get into today. Okay, okay, guys, who needs a live bait? up again. Just picked up that African pompano from him and Senor Harold's hooked up again on the green machine. Oh yeah, watch your other line there. About midday, incoming tide. There you go, yeah, pedal forward and you'll be good. There you go. Beast, Harold. Nice. pedaling forward and a little bit to the left. Get away from those rocks if you can. There you go, beauty. Yeah, just slowly keep pedaling forward if you can because uh, the current's kind of pushing you back. There you go, thank you. All right, keep pedaling if you would. Sorry, you just got that rock right in, behind, in your back. There you go, perfect, perfect. I saw silver under there. Yep. Yep, you got silver under you. I don't know what type yet. There you go. Yeah, we got color. It's coming close. You got him, you got him. Look at it, there we go, we got color. What do we got, what do we got? Might be another pompano. Yeah, it is. What do we got? Is that a, could it be? Yep, another pompano. So yeah, ultralata por favor. Do you want to get that gap out and stick him again? Oh, wait, 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 it's a Jack Raval. You're all good. Yeah, no, you're fine. We don't have to, he's not the best eating one. There we 
go. All right, yeah. Let's take him, just start pedaling out a little and uh, I'll get him off the hook. We'll get some photos for you. Oh my God, I wasn't recording. I just had a rooster come up and eat this bucktail right next to my boat. Oh, I can't believe I wasn't recording. He came up, followed the bucktail, and right as I got to the surface, I stopped it and he swallowed it and I set the hook and somehow missed him. And now I can't figure out how the heck this happened. That was crazy. Fish on the bucktail right after that rooster just ate it in front of my face and somehow didn't get hooked. I'm on again. This does not feel like a rooster fish. Or he just doesn't know he's hooked yet. Well. Uh, oh, oh gosh. It's a little bucktail light line. Uh-oh. This might be something bigger than I thought. I don't think he knew he was hooked really. I think it's maybe a snapper of some kind. That was absolutely wild, you guys. Just a second ago, pulling this bucktail up and watched a rooster come and literally watched him slurp down this bucktail five feet from my kayak. And so I just dropped it right back down because I missed that one somehow, pulled it out of his mouth. And now I got something else on the bucktail the very next drop. This one doesn't really feel like a rooster, but you never know. Hey. Oh. Whoa, you guys. Whoa. <laughs> this is a light setup, light line, and a tiny little bucktail. And this is something bigger here. You... Bucktail bite is on right now. Oh. I cannot tighten the drag too much. This could be a jack or ball. Could be a lot of things, but it's made some screaming runs. Uh, albeit on a light setup, so you just never know. But well, this is something pretty good, you guys, on a light bucktail. It's been steady action. What do we got here? Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh. Look at this, you guys. Pulling me backwards. Now he's coming up. Might be a big jack. Really not sure. Golly. If it's a jack, it's a big one. If it's a rooster, not necessarily a big one. They are strong fish. Make sure I'm not getting pushed in these rocks too bad. The bucktail, you guys. Oh, I see it. It's silver. It is silver. It's a rooster fish. <laughs> back to back. Rooster fish on the little bucktail. This is the Coco Bolo bucktail. My friend in Panama City makes these himself, ties them himself. Oh, he didn't like that. It's my first time really trying it out. And look at that, second rooster to hit it in two drops. And now this guy's gonna freak out any second. Yep. Yep. <laughs> They're always good for that last second run. Oh, I love these fish. Especially on artificial, and especially on this light setup. It's not a monster by any means, but solid, solid rooster. And there it is! Coco Bolo, amigo, gracias! Ahí está! Look at that! <laughs> there it is, last drop. I had a rooster chasing. I think a little pack of these guys just came through. Very next drop, he smashed it. Oh, beautiful fish. Man, I love these things. It's too sick. Okay, okay. Let me get this thing out of his mouth. Oh, there it goes. And send her on her way. Shoo! <laughs> Sick! Oh, man. 
on this little guy. The smaller bucktail of the two I've been using. Oh, beautiful. What a, what a fun fight. I had a feeling, I kept saying maybe it's a jack just because I didn't want to jinx it. That was very strategic. But after seeing the rooster fish, literally watching it eat my bucktail one drop before, and the way the fight felt, I knew in my heart that it was a rooster fish. But I did not want to jinx it. So I was lying to you guys, so I wouldn't look like an idiot if I said rooster and it came up and it was a trigger fish or something. But I knew. Man, that was awesome on this light setup. So this is the Ocean, Ocean Tackle International pitch black inshore setup. And I mean, this rod's made for redfish and stuff. And that was a good 35 inch rooster fish. Been loving, loving these Ocean Tackle rods. Every rod I'm using right now from my big, the end game here for my live baits. I've got the pitch black jigging series. I got their slow pitch jig. That rod just caught about a 400 pound shark yesterday and the thing's a slow pitch rod. I mean, it's like a wet noodle intentionally, but gives the jig great action. And then I brought a couple of these inshore rods with me for just kind of messing around, light tackle stuff, like I've been doing this afternoon. And there it was, first rooster fish on the inshore rod from Ocean Tackle. Been loving this stuff. And you guys, if you want to shop my favorite offshore fishing gear, the stuff I bring to Panama that will work all over the world, New Zealand, uh, Florida, California, everywhere, I use it all over. Uh, you can do that. There will be a link down in the description to every one of these offshore episodes to a page on Tackle Direct's website with all my favorites, all my go-tos, my favorite jigs, my favorite bucktails, favorite reels, rods, rod leashes, line, you name it. If I use it regularly and I believe in it, it's on that page. Go check it out. And we out. Great day offshore. Time to head home. Look at that, monster, monster African Pompano for Harold here. Yeah, buddy. It's his second trip here with me. He's been waiting on his rooster still, but it's not a bad constellation prize. No, my trip's made. That's the biggest one I've ever seen here for sure. Oh, he got that one too? Man, Harold, he had the Pompano dial today. Jacks. All right, Dakota Dunmire head guide here is gonna carve up this absolute tank of an African pompano. We catch these quite a bit, but not usually this big. I think that's the biggest one I've seen here in Panama. Chew! Danko knives, we're loving these. And that is just a beautiful, beautiful piece of meat, white. Great eating fish here. See, see, see. Now we're done. ceviche like always pretty much every night it's a different fish every night it's a little bit different sauce but it's always just cooked with lemon and lime so fantastic okay guys tonight for dinner los buzos we got seared tuna which to me the only way to cook tuna is to barely cook it and that's what we're gonna do super high heat on the flat top with some oil seasoned very simply salt pepper garlic don't eat much if it's fresh tuna and it doesn't get any fresher than here at Los Buzos. We got Erica here, she's gonna sear this tuna, it's gonna be fantastic. High heat, low time. See that sizzle, you hear that? That smoke, that's what you're looking for. This is super hot. And by the time she puts them all on there, she's basically gonna be flipping them. They're basically gonna be done. And there we go. Rapidito. What you're looking for that brown crust on the outside, still red in the middle. Oh, it's gonna be so good! Just the way, look at that, like that, they're already coming off. Ready to go, piece of cake. Oh, it's gonna be good.
All right, we got the seared tuna. The only way to cook tuna in my book, we got fried rice. Look at that. We got some vegetables, and as always, we have an amazing salad. What a spread. It's gonna be good. How many pieces? Two. Oh, yeah. Fried rice. Fried rice. Homemade fried rice. This stuff's so good. Oh, that's tuna. Y'all been catching this. Y'all's tuna. Yeah. Thank you guys for catching the tuna. Oh, yeah. We got Travis, the three time Los Buzos veteran here. He knows the drill. Look at that. It got real quiet over here. You know it's good. So we've got this homemade sauce for the seared tuna. Secret ingredients, but it's so good. Absolutely fantastic. All right, guys, I'm acting like it's a taste test, but I've eaten seared tuna here at Los Buzos many times, so there's no test needed. It's gonna be fantastic. If you're cooking your tuna more than rare, you're doing it wrong. But honestly, if you catch your tuna the same day, it's hard to do it wrong. So fantastic, simple, not over seasoned. You really get to taste the fish. If you're catching a ton of tuna, we always catch a ton of tuna. We cook them multiple ways, but seared tuna cannot go wrong. We'll try this fried rice, it's got some kind of seafood in it. I don't know what it is, but. <laughs> I don't know even I don't even know what's going on in that homemade fried rice so fantastic. All right guys, another incredible day, another incredible week here at Los Buzos. I know it's dark, you can probably barely see me, but this group has been amazing, so much fun. The fishing's been incredible, the food off the charts like always. And as always, if you want to come do this with me, if you want to come out here and shorten your bucket list, catch some fish of a lifetime off a kayak or a ponga, check out my weeks. It's all on the calendar. It's all the information you need to know is on the website, losbuzos.com. Check it out. I would love to have you out here. For the rest of you guys, if you've already been here or if you just don't want to come here because you're not paying attention, Anyways, thanks for watching to the end. I appreciate it. Please like, comment, subscribe if you feel like it. If not, I forgive you. But I hope to see you next week. we got more Field Trips Panama coming up next. Thank you, guys. Love y'all. Be good. Adios. Ciao.